Welcome to our tutorial about the redim statement. Let's modify my previous code a little bit. As we mentioned in our previous segment, the redim statement reallocates space for the new array. Let's put two and run our program. The list box is initiated with the names displayed in the array. Now let's type redim. And my array tab. Open parenthesis 3. Close parenthesis. Basically what I've done is replace my array with my new array. This new my array has space to hold four values. Let's run our program. If I click, we're going to get a runtime error because the value can't be null. Let's mouse over and expand. You can see that we lost our stored values. In order to preserve the values that we wanted to store in my array, we need to use the preserve keyword. Let's enter it and run our program again. However, we again get a runtime error. Let's mouse over and expand. Now all three values are preserved, but the additional space we added has not been initialized. Let's copy line 26 and paste it below. Now I'm going to preserve two spaces and let's run our program again. We see the values stored in positions 0 and 1 were preserved and passed along to the list box. Basically, this new array doesn't have space for a third element, Bob, so this element was lost. This concludes our tutorial about the re-dim statement.